Hi guys, just wanted to do a quick video on my experience with buying Fox suspension. So I've been buying Fox products for a number of years. I've been putting them on a lot of my vehicles. I've been really happy with basically all of my Fox products except for these and I'm gonna tell you why. So when I bought these, I was looking for the ones with the reservoir, the external reservoir, so that I could adjust the, uh, the compression, and those were nowhere to be found. So these were the second best option. They were about a thousand bucks, and they have the rebound adjustment on them, but no compression adjustment. Um, so when they sent them to me, they were sent to me in this box separated by a thin piece of plastic and as a result the shocks came to me damaged nobody had the, the supplier that i got them from and fox themselves don't have any new ones but there's like i'll i'll probably include some pictures to show you this might not be the right angle but there's chunks taken out of some of the anodizing and like on this side I don't know if you can see, but there's just issues with them. Well, I I proceeded to just install them on the bike, which was fairly straightforward. I needed new bolts because I needed to run the spacers to kick it out from the side of the bike here, which was fine to be expected. And they do make the bike ride quite a bit better than stock, obviously there's more travel, it's just a higher quality shock. What's disappointing about it now is it's rubbing really hard against the, the body there. And I've had these on for less than 200 miles and it's just rubbing really, really hard up against the body here. It's not doing it on this side there's no rubbing, clears it nicely. And I'm running the same spacer in the bottom as I am the top, same spacer in the bottom, and then in the top. So I know that the alignment is correct on both sides, but What's disappointing, what's, what's really the most disappointing part about all of this is Fox has not emailed me back. They're, they're not getting in contact with me. I tried to reach out like, hey, can we make this right? What can we do? And I've received nothing from them. So at this point, I just bought a Diana right there that I'm gonna be doing a lot of mods to. And I think I'm gonna go with Olin's next time. Um, I've heard really good things about Olin's and I've been really, really disappointed with these Fox shocks. And I've been really disappointed with their customer service because it's kind of a lot of money. So anyways, just thought I'd give you my experience with these and you can make whatever kind of decision you want if you want to run Fox or if you want to run something else like a legend setup or an Olin's but I think I'm done with Fox anyways have a good day